This snake is a juvenile black mamba, and last night he just finished shedding his skin. So let's get you out of there and check out that shed. Please don't kill me, buddy. Here we go, pulling out the black mamba to retrieve the shed. Now the thing about black mambas is that they've got a nasty reputation for being the most venomous and most aggressive snake in Africa, and they are neither. First of all, they aren't the most venomous. There are plenty of other venomous snakes that drop for drop are more potent than the black mamba. And I also disagree with the idea that they are the most aggressive snake in Africa. As you can see right now, he's not really freaking out. He's just kind of trying to figure out how he got out of his bath and how come he's not in his cage anymore. But you can see he's really not doing anything too menacing. And that's because I haven't been menacing towards him. If I just move very slowly and methodically, he might be slightly uncomfortable with the situation and might be trying to figure out how to get back to his home. But as long as I don't make any sudden movements, he's not gonna feel that need to defend himself. So now just continuing the slow and steady motions, I'm gonna go ahead and try to bring him into this bucket. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna have to kind of push his head down a little bit. There we go. Now he's around my wrist, so I'm gonna get that tail in. Oh, don't go over there, bud. It's a pain in the butt to get you out from under this thing. Okay. Hold him away from me while I move the lid back into place. And here we go, this this is the, this time's gonna be it. I can feel it, here we go. Okay. And here, and here, it, it, it. All right, just gotta get that tail in, and done. Now let's check out that shed skin. It looks like it was all shed in one piece, which is always a good sign. Okay. So there is the black mamba, and there is the black mamba's shed, and you can see he is just about seven feet long. And check this out, they shed their whole face, including scales that cover their eyes. If you enjoyed this video, you've got to see my next video about what happens when a West African green mamba climbs up the hook towards me. Make sure to like and follow so you don't miss it, and as always, thanks for watching.